All right. Hello, viewers. This is Raj, and I am going to teach you decimal to binary conversion in this particular video. It's going to be a very, very interesting tutorial. So, if you haven't yet subscribed this channel, do consider subscribing this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the recent notifications whenever I upload a new video. Right? And uh, please do like this video if you are watching this. And um, let's get started with today's video. So, the topic for today is decimal to binary conversion. We will see how to convert a decimal number to a binary number. It's really very, very easy so let's get started with today's video okay now the first thing that we will do is uh, we have to write down a table like this okay so we will start with one then we will write two we will write four 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128 now these are basically the powers of 2 right so the uh, power of 2 to the power 0 is 1 2 to the power 1 is 2 2 to the power 2 is 4 2 to the power 3 is 8 2 to the power 4 is 16, 2 to the power uh, 5 is 32, 6 is 64, 2 to the power 7 is 128. So we have to write down the powers of 2 all the way from 0, 2 to the power 0 up to 2 to the power 7, right? We have to write it down. You just have to write it down. You just have to remember this. Just mug it up. Uh, just mug it up and you just write it down and you're good to go. You're good to start with the calculation part, okay? Now, we have to check the number that we are given, okay? At first, we are given 45. We are given these set of numbers. So, I am going to do, I'm, I'm going to perform the uh, decimal to binary conversion with uh, 45, 30, 258. Okay, the first number that is given to us is 45, right? Now, what we have to do is basically, we have to check that can we subtract the first number, which is 128 from the given number or not? Can we subtract 128 from 45 can we do it no we can't do it right at the moment when you will see that you can't do it you will put a zero over there at the bottom of that particular number right so we can't uh, subtract 128 from 45 right so we put a zero at the bottom of 125 right we we wrote zero below 120 128 sorry 128 right uh now what we will see is we will check this now with this number can we subtract 64 from 45 no we can't subtract 64 from 45 so we will put a zero over here as well right now we will see can we check uh, we will check that we, whether we can subtract 32 from 45 or not we can subtract 32 from 45 and that's why we will put a one below that if we can subtract we will put just a one below that number okay then we will perform the subtraction so 45 minus 32 is how much it's 13 right so we will see that can we subtract 16 from the subtracted number which is from the difference which is 13 now we will check the numbers numbers from the, the consecutive numbers with the difference okay so first we will see can we subtract 16 from 13 we can't subtract 16 from 13 because 13 is lesser than 16 so we will put a zero over there okay then we will check can we subtract 8 from 13 yes we can subtract 8 from 13 and the num answer is 5 right so we can subtract 8 from 13 so we will put a 1 below 8 right now what we have the subtracted number we have the difference as 5 right so 13 minus 8 is 5 am i doing it right 13 minus 8 is 5 yeah definitely uh, 13 minus 8 is 5 so we will put um, we will check the number 5 with 4 right so we, we, we will check that can we subtract 4 from 5 yes we can subtract 4 from 5 right so we will put a 1 below 4 now what we will do is we will check we will do the subtraction we will perform the subtraction and we get the answer as one right now we will check that can we subtract two from the difference from the from the subtracted number that is one can we do it can we do one minus two we will get a negative answer right so we can't do it we can't subtract two from one so we will put a zero below that number right now we will do what we will check the one with one and we can do the subtraction one minus one is zero and that's why we will put a one below one and now since one minus one is zero we are left with nothing we will not proceed further and there is no space of proceeding further over here you can see right so 
we are left with 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. This is the binary equivalent of 45, right? So let me write it down. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 is equal to 45, okay? Let me write it down. Okay, so this is basically the binary equivalent of the decimal number 45. Now let us do it with 30. Okay, so can we subtract 128 from 30? We can't subtract 128 from 30. So straight away put a zero over there. Can we subtract 64 from 30? No, we can't. So put a zero over there. Can we subtract 32 from 30? No, 32 is greater than 30. So put a zero over there. Can we subtract 16 from 30? Yes, we can subtract 16 from 30. So we will put a one over there, right? And now we will perform the difference. We will perform the subtraction. 30 minus 16 is how much? 30 minus 16 is 14, right? So now we will see, can we subtract eight from 14? Yes, we can subtract eight from 14. So we will put a one below eight. And now we will do the subtraction and we will see the difference. What is, uh, what is 14 minus eight? It's uh, six, right? So we will do subtraction with six and four, right? We will see, can we subtract four from six? Yes, we can subtract four from six. We get two, right? So we will put one over here and we have the difference as two. Now we will check the number with two. Can we subtract two from two? Uh, yeah, we can subtract two from two, we get zero. So we will put a one below two and we will perform the subtraction. Two minus two is how much? Two minus two is zero. So now we will check with zero and one. Can we subtract one from zero? Zero is nothing. We can't subtract one from zero, right? So we will put a zero over there and we get the binary equivalent of the decimal number 30. Let me write it down. Binary equivalent of 30 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And the equivalent is 30. Okay. So we have performed the uh, by decimal to binary conversion of 30. Um, of 30, we will con we converted 30 to binary number, this one. Okay. Now let us perform this with 200. So it's really very easy. You already got the point, but I'm just doing it for the last time. Uh, you rest, you have to do it with 58 and you, you will write down in the comment section, okay, that how much you got, how much the answer is, okay, you will, you will do it on your own, okay, please do it and please do comment in the comment section and let me know, okay, so, so I'll feel that I am doing something and I am, I am, you know, my efforts are, um, uh, my efforts are successful right so please do uh, this conversion and do let me know in the comment section okay let let us do it with 200 right so one can we subtract 128 from 200 yes we can subtract 128 from 200 so we will write down one over here and we will do the subtraction how much is 200 minus 128 it's i think uh, 72 i think right it's 72 so now we get the subtraction as 72. Now we will see, can we subtract 64 from 72? Yes, we can subtract 64 from 72. So we will put a one below that and we will do the subtraction. How much is 72 minus 64? It's um, 70 minus 64 is six and two. Uh, so eight, right? So we get eight as the answer. So we will see, can we subtract 32 from eight? We can't do sub 32 minus eight. Uh, we can't do eight minus 32, right? So we will put a zero over there. Now we will see, can we subtract 32 from eight? We can't do eight minus 32. So we will put a zero over there, right? Now we will see, can we uh, sub subtract 16 from eight? We can't subtract 16 from eight. So we will put a zero over there. Can we subtract eight from eight? Yes, we can do it. So we will put a one over there and the rest are empty. We will put a zero, zero and zero over there. Okay. So because why, why did we do this? Because eight minus eight is zero and we get the zero. Can we subtract zero from four, uh, four from zero? No. Can we subtract uh, two from zero? No. Can we subtract one from zero? No, we can't. So we put a zero, zero and zero over there uh, below four, two and four, two and one, right? 
so this was pretty much the uh, method of how to convert a decimal number to a binary number next video is going to be on binary to decimal number conversion okay um, i hope you got the point you got to un understand this i already put a video on my channel uh, which is on uh, decimal uh, to binary conversion which is the long method this is a short method and uh, i hope you like this video if you did then hit the like button share it with your friends and do consider subscribing this channel so thanks a lot for watching this video guys goodbye